thank, thank you, David. Um, and uh, thanks for the invitation to speak today. When I arrived earlier, I was a little bit late arriving, and um, the, the elevator uh, pitch was going on, so that's really scared me straight away. I thought I, I, thought I was doing this in 30 seconds, but um, I'll whiz through uh, a few slides. Um, is there a switch here? That's okay. Lovely. No, that's fine. I'll whiz through um, some slides in around 10 minutes. I'm sure you're pleased to get off for some lunch. But um, I'm here to talk about the Wolf Way and introduce you to the Wolf Way. Now, um, we're actually formally launching uh, the Wolf Way uh, at the end of the month. So this is a bit of a sneak preview. Uh, there will be a few more other details that will, will come out in March, end of March, but uh, I can give you a sneak preview today. So um, before I, I, I go into the um, slides, I, where this originated uh, from, this concept of a, a cycling route uh, around Suffolk, the Wolf Way. Um, I was, it was interesting, Paul touched on the Tour of Britain and the Women's Tour earlier. Uh, and I'd been engaged in those events over a number of years. And I got invited to a, a launch of uh, a, a, a very similar long distance cycling route in Norfolk, in Norwich. And this was back in 2022. So, so this has been a, a, a kind of a long project in gestation and, and, um, and it's uh, interesting because it's been run on a shoestring to get there, very much voluntary and uh, cycling community-based uh, development. Uh, but I sat in a room in Norwich and they were talking about the, North, the Norfolk Rebellion Way, as it's called, and I just sort of thought, you know, why haven't, why haven't we done this in Suffolk? Why haven't we created something that connects up all our fantastic cycling routes, all our fantastic um, assets and heritage and storytelling about Suffolk? So we, we came away from that meeting. I bumped into two cyclists who'd just done the route, and that's where we've gone for the last two years in terms of trying to get this, uh, this route um, established. Uh, so what is uh, the Wolf Way? Um, as you can see, a long distance, multi-day cycling adventure around Suffolk. And I think the key word that you want to pick up from that slide is adventure, because this is all about bringing the experience of the, the, bringing the visitor an experience that they probably won't be able to get if they're in their car, um, if they're traveling from site to site. This takes people you know, off-road, using some of those bridle ways, those um, byways, the gravel tracks, uh, and cycle paths, and so forth, and, and some quiet lanes uh, as well. But taking in really, as it says there, the most beautiful Suffolk locations uh, and hidden gems. And I think that's what I'd like you to take away today, is that. This is about a visitor experience. Um, what does it look like? So um, there's an outline. I'm acutely conscious of the, just the question that just came in about how you reach rural uh, sites and not just uh, the coastal routes. And I, I'll, I'll address that in a, in a second. But what you see there is the, the outline piece of work um, uh, done by the, the, the cycling community, the cycle enthusiasts who have tested out and designed this, these routes. Um, there's uh, a summer route and a winter route to start with of that whole um, uh, uh, multi-day uh, route. It's a route that obviously can be segmented. Uh, you don't have to do the whole lot. You'll be pleased to know in one go. Um, but the summer route, for example, for the East Coast um, takes on board Bordsey Ferry. So a lovely little experience getting across um, there. That's not available in the winter. Uh, and there's so, some slight adjustments in the winter route where it can get a bit squadgy in some of the off-road uh, activity. But in addition to that, there has already been some development around some segments, some smaller segments. There is an, there is an East Wolf, which is not shown on this screen, unfortunately, uh, on these slides. Uh, but that would start itself at Ipswich Station, and I'll, I'll come back to that in a second because there's a, there's a, there's a strong case of how we you know, um, utilise that sort of non-car travel for this whole sustainable uh, 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 route. But there is an East, there is an east, uh, um, an east Wolf route. There's a, there's a, 
Uh, there's a wolverine being developed, which is an even smaller route around the west of Bury St Edmunds area. So what I'm trying to say is, is where well, you've got a route there, don't think it's um, set in any stone. What we try to do when we're um, uh, uh, talking about the route to our visitors is where you can go off to from the route, utilising some of those existing cycle networks that are around probably some of those inland villages and sites and so forth. So I've had a couple of queries come back in, in, in the last uh, few weeks about, you know, why didn't you go through this place? Or why, why? Now, that was down to the, you know, the, the cycling experts, but I think, I think Mary's in the room from Hibson's. I saw her in the elevator earlier. Yes. So, um, and I know, Mary, you've already engaged with, with, with the project from, from Beckel, so you can, you can engage with the project. Um, you don't have to be on that orange line. Um, and there is more scope to develop. Um, when we set out on the project, these are the, kind of the kind of key objectives we wanted to look at. Yes, of course, we, um, of course we wanted to uh, make sure we maximise the potential of a Suffolk-wide um, cycling route adventure. Um, we wanted to connect in with uh, the, the experiences we have. You know, one of the things when I looked at, when I was looking at the Norfolk experience, first of all, I thought, well, I mean, you know, we've got all of that and more. You know, we've got some fantastic stories about, um, you know, our past, our heritage. We can, we can make those link in. We can use digital technology to make that available for people on the route. They can click into this. They can use their mobiles to understand really the environment they're in, the landscapes we have, um, uh, and our heritage and culture, and, of course, how it can support our hospitality. And I think the key thing is that it's a year-round product as well for, for, you, for you to engage in and utilise. Um, ooh, who's involved in, uh, I've probably covered some of this, but the key names to take away from this are Chris Bauer and Sharon Colton. There are cycling enthusiasts, uh, or expert route advisors. Uh, they would have been here today, um, uh, but they're cycling around Europe, probably getting loads of other cyclists to come over, I dare say, knowing them. Um, uh, we've also worked with Cycling UK, uh, and they've been brilliant in bringing their experience to guiding the shape of the route and uh, colleagues from uh, both East Suffolk Council actually as well as Suffolk County Council have supported us on making sure those routes are okay um, the bridleway use and and, foot, uh, and the path use and the gravel paths are all okay so we've got the, the kind of rubber stamp on the routes uh, that will all be available to you by uh, looking at the the website link and there's GPX trails, uh, down, downloadable files for you to look at and so forth. Um, and uh, our role was really just to bring this together over the last couple of years. Covered this briefly already, really, but um, it's really important. I've heard, heard, heard this mentioned a couple of times today about sustainable visitor economy and so forth. We've done a lot of work at that um, from, from Suffolk Growth Partnership. Um, and I think, you know, um, the promotion of cycling, active travel for both residents, um, leisure visitors within Suffolk and visitors outside of Suffolk is a really important part of this equation. And I mentioned, um, you know, part of the routes coming in, coming into it, which station, railway station, for example, is really important for us going forward. We've mentioned to you around potential of the, uh, the route. Um, the potential really from here that we'll talk about is how you can link in uh, how you can engage in the, uh, I guess, the, the, the model of, of the Wolfway, link it with your marketing, the events that Paul mentioned uh, just, uh, just a moment ago, uh, food and drink trails, all those sorts of things. Lots of opportunity there uh, for you. And I guess it adds, as Paul said, to the growing reputation of Suffolk as a, as a cycling destination, a host of major events, and glad to hear that's... Uh, that's still coming back to Suffolk uh, in future years. I, I will just mention the piece around health and well-being at the bottom there, because um, that would be what our cycling enthusiasts who kick this, this, this uh, activity off with, that was where they were driven from. Um, they were driven from you know, really understanding how brilliant it is to get out there um, on a bike in the rural areas appreciating the landscape, you know, all those benefits are really good. 
uh, mental and physical health and well-being. And uh, we, we mentioned earlier about in, impacts um, and the, the potential growth of um, cycling tourism. Uh, and as I said, we've got a launch in a couple of weeks and we already have, um, we, we're doing a little media ride beforehand, a little, the Wolverine is being ridden. It's a nine, a nine mile media ride tour around Bury St Edmunds. Um, but we have uh, at least half a dozen uh, Dutch and Belgium cycling enthusiasts coming over. Some of those are, you know, quite interesting um, influences around cycling. They do their own uh, blogs, their own uh, vlogs and so forth. Um, and I think that's a really important market. We've already spoken to Visit East of England about how this can be positioned in their travel trade work. So I think there's a, there's a good opportunity. You know, people arriving from Harwich, turn our way, not the other way, uh, I think is the, uh, the ask. What we'd like to do is to get some better stats around what cycling tourism looks like for, um, for Suffolk and for East Suffolk. So it'd be great if we could work that into some of the T-stats um, work that was mentioned earlier. Um, how can it uh, benefit your business? Um, well, uh, I'll, ju I'll show you uh, some of the things we're going to look at at the moment. But as I said, you know, real opportunity there for um, both international visitors, local visitors um, to use the Wolfway to get cycling. Um, and very much, you know, what we want to do is to adapt it to those shorter leisure markets uh, as well. So here's where you come, uh, come into the equation. Uh, and if Nikki was here, she'd be able to ex sort of go through a lot more detail than I can, but um, you can always contact us afterwards around this. But what we've done is we've designed a range of, uh, of social media assets um, um, and um, we're pr hopefully providing you with some good uh, content uh, and some themed content uh, across uh, sector interests. So some of the uh, uh, assets that we've produced will relate to hospitality, to food and drink, some will relate to heritage, to, to accommodation and so forth. And you'll see some of those examples in a second. But... Um, we're also producing some promotional videos. So after March the 22nd, when we launch, you'll see some, some nice videos, some short stings on social media that again, hopefully you'll be able to pick up on, follow and engage with. Um, we've, on the more physical side of stuff, we will be producing some uh, window stickers and posters if you're kind of proximity to route, you want to you know, show that you're engaged with Wolfway and linked with Wolfway. Uh, if you want those physical assets you can have, but there's loads that are digitally based for you as well. Um, so what we, you know, we'd, we'd encourage you to have a look at this, uh, look at the assets. Uh, those are on the webs, uh, web link that's on your program, I think, in, in the bottom of your program. There is a web link, gives you access to all of those assets. Um, and um, just engage in the ways you would if you want to utilise those and use your existing website and uh, newsletters, please do. Here's some of the examples of some of the assets that we've produced uh, to date. And as you see, we cut across um, various different <coughs> themes. This is the starting point. Love to get your feedback in, in future weeks around this, about how these can change. Um, we'll be doing our promotional, doing some videos uh, around the route. And what we'd like to do um, uh, is, is cover um, the route seasonally. So um, some of these shadings will change, they'll become more autumnal. Um, uh, and also what we want to do is include some of the uh, businesses and venues across the route. So if you're interested in being part of the Wolf Way and some of the promotional videos and stings that we're producing, do give us a shout. We'll be doing that over the course of the next few months and then into, into we'll do some more in the autumn to get more of an autumn feel around. Uh, some of the promotions as well. Um, and what we'd really love you to do, of course, um, as part of that, and many of you already do this, is to uh, become Wolfway cycle friendly. And we're not asking you to um, uh, invest millions of pounds in this, but just to think about how, if you're on the route, you're engaged with Wolfway, how can you really retain and, uh, that, that kind of cycle tourism visitor. 
Um, we think it's going to grow. We think um, all the signs are cycling tourism in Suffolk is a, is a really uh, positive aspect to be involved in. Um, so if you're providing accommodation and hospitality for cycling visitors, um, you know, do, do link into the, to the Wolfway, be Wolfway, Wolfway cycle friendly. Look at what you can do in terms of storage, bike security. Um, if you can offer uh, essentials for cyclists, like, you know, just having to hand things like repair kits and uh, bike pumps and stuff like that. Refilling of water bottles, it's all standard stuff. And of course, what you can do is um, we'll be producing some of the uh, detailed information that you can print off and have in a pack at your venue or attraction if you, you'd like to. And um, yeah, well, you are all the creative, so be creative with the Wolfway. Um, you know, look what you can do in your destination across some of nearby venues. You do that sort of thing anyway, don't you? But do it in the context of, a, of the, the cycling visitor, I guess. Um, and uh, hopefully you'll extend their visit in near your location or indeed extend itself, as we said, off the route on another one of those wonderful Suffolk cycle networks um, uh, uh, to extend their visit. So uh, those are some of the, the things you, you, you can do. And I'm going to leave you here. But um, as I said, we're launching on March 22nd. Keep an eye out on the social media for... Um, the announcements. In the meantime, you can access the assets on the, on the website. One other thing to look out for, in, um, which will be announced at the launch, um, will be around a charitable fundraising uh, ride of the entire Wolf Way. So there will be, it will be coming um, down the coast uh, and uh, along the route that you saw, uh, and it will be um, quite highly media covered. We've got some interesting media partners engaged in that charitable fund ride. So that will be announced in a couple of weeks, but that will be in June, another opportunity for you to engage uh, with the social media around this. So that's it from me. Um, it's a whistle stop tour. I hope that was okay for you. But on, Mar on March 22nd, raise your glasses and welcome the Wolf Way. Yay. Thank you. Um, just a, a, a quick one, uh, Richard, you mentioned Mary's kind of grabbed hold of this as soon as she heard about it. So um, I wonder, Mary, if you could just give us a quick snapshot of how you've actually used this in your business. Well, we, um, we, don't, often, we don't normally do one night stays in our boatyard, but I thought this was quite an interesting um, project and I'm a keen cyclist so that's probably why so I've spoken with a restaurant that we work with locally a lot Oak Fried Pizza and we're going to put together a one night package for people to come and stay if they're doing the Wolf Way so we're only going to do one night packages for Wolf Way cyclists and it will include a £50 voucher off their meal at the pizza restaurant which is literally a three or four minute walk from the boatyard so we thought that could be quite nice and promote two businesses, promote Beckles. And, um, you know, it's not that far off the route as we talked about. So we thought, give it a whirl, why not? Okay, thank you. Very good. Richard, thank you. And thank you for stepping in on behalf of Nikki.